You've mentioned that you've faced like some stigma from, you know, being on OnlyFans. Uh, yeah. And specifically, there was something that happened with the Miami Marlins. Is that right? So we rented out the stadium down there. Um, yeah, I wanted to do an oh, end just of year. The stadi- just the stadium. <laughs> so that's that's what this is right here. Bryce Ball, Miami 2023. Oh God, that's amazing. Uh, we, I had this hair brain idea, and I was like, I wonder if we could rent out the baseball stadium. So going back to our roots, my boyfriend played baseball from when he was like five on. And, you know, growing up and all that together, like I would watch all of his games. Our first business was Hoarding Goods Business. We sold thousands, hundreds of thousands of baseball bats. Like baseball is in our blood. So it was always this thing of like, I was like, that'd be really cool for him to hit like some balls on a major league stadium. So I was like, this would be a great time. We're going to invite all of our friends, my family, his family. We're going to round them all up at the end of the year for like a nice celebration. It was like four months of contract stuff and craziness back and forth. And, you know, I wired them the money. We rented it. We rented a, a plane to take friends from our town down to Miami, like all together. Like we had people flying in from like Germany and Washington, like everything's great. 17 hours beforehand, we get a notice that they have canceled it and voided the contract and we can't play baseball. And we were like, oh my God. So I guess somebody, we had sent, uh, we spent literally probably 120 hours doing all of the field graphics. So like all the little ribbons that go around the, the banner of the field and all the little screens, the Jumbotron, like we made like a 20 minute video of montage of everything that we had done together. All of this is completely safe for work, by the way. Like Mm-hmm. Like my mom was going, <laughs> my dad mm-hmm. was going, mm-hmm. like we were just going to have like a nice family event. And uh, yeah, so I guess they watched our montage video and I think somebody looked into us a little bit further and I guess it ran it up the flagpole and they were like, nope, can't go. So 17 hours out, we had to scramble and we ended up still going to Miami. We just rented a boat and took everybody out. It was very cold. <laughs> it's like 62 degrees, but yeah, that was an unexpected twist and turn that we did not, um, see happening and um i think the washington post wrote an article on it that the cancellation they, that was nice of them to to do that uh, but yeah so that was just it was unfortunate i get it's business and stuff but it was like i never hid who i was i gave them social media handles we were very clear about you know what we were doing and we even offered like solutions we were like feel free to have as many you know field babysitters as possible which like security deposit i'll give you that you know like there won't be any issues um but yeah Maybe I'll find a different stadium. (laughs) Yeah, that's unfortunate. And unfortunately, like an all too familiar story that, you know. Yeah. I've encountered a lot of that. I heard a lot about like banking and things like that. I know a lot of creators have issues with that. A lot of people are working on cool products in relation to that. So hopefully that'll help. But yeah, it's, I feel like it is getting better to be fair. I feel like it's becoming more commonplace. Like years ago, even if you were like a YouTube creator, people were like, YouTube, that's not a job. Now it's like the number one job of like people growing up. They're like, I want to be a YouTuber. So I think hopefully that will that will also transcend into this space as well. And hopefully people will become more accommodating. I think that the younger generation is, you know, because that's what they're growing up with, right? They're becoming more understanding. That's fair. I don't know if you can breed the distaste out of the mouths of the the older people, but, you know, they'll die eventually, so. <laughs> <laughs> I do agree that the younger crowd seems much more happy and willing to be like, oh, that's cool, you do you kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year-long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.